want to go to Sam's Club today or not? Now this yellow part of the field should shouldn't use quite so much lime. But once we're back on the uh, the uh, do it once a year, this is not going to be a, as big a drain on our uh, supplies. So lots of grass. This is a good start. I am looking at this block of four fields along here as well. But again, they are much too expensive for now. And I did not miss any of that corner. And then I bought the logging area up at the top of the hill, past our maize field, and sometime during this month we are going to take down the trees and uh, put in a farm track to join the main road. Oh, that was a result from uh, Jeremy Clarkson's last season of uh, Clarkson's Farm on Amazon. Um, actually, the season before, he wanted to build a farm track on his land. So, you know, he wanted to be able to travel from point A to point B. And, uh, you know, he wanted to improve the track so that he could drive machinery on it and not have it sink into mud and um, the local council told him no you can't do that they also said he couldn't repurpose a barn on his field into a restaurant or on his farm and the local council said no you can't do that well as far as i can gather there is now a law in england that says Local councils are not allowed to tell you you can't put a farm track on your field and you can't take an existing building and repurpose it. I missed that corner. This is true. So, uh, I guess that's a result for him. And we are almost out of lime again. good you can add a farm track to your farm without a problem I have not pre-ordered FS25 yet um, I've pre-ordered a lot of train stuff so I kind of want to track my payments for now can't remember whether I mentioned I did get my uh, oh I did get my rake of uh, six suburban coaches delivered on Monday this week so I haven't had a chance to take them out for a test drive on the club's railway or railroad so I will have to uh, do that maybe this week Monday But the other thing is, is FS25 will barely run on this PC. So I am going to wait until I can afford a new PC. And then I'm going to have to spend probably a weekend migrating everything over to it. At which point I'll sit, consider getting FS25. But... Um, 
the new PC needs is, is more important. Unfortunately, we've had a load of very expensive stuff happening here. Um, we discovered that the basement is leaking. So we contacted some basement leak repair guys. And they're going to be taking up the floor at the front of the basement and putting down um, a new channel and a new sump pump because apparently the sump pump we have is not to code or the installation of it is not to code so uh, that needs to be addressed and they said you know if we weren't messing in the basement we wouldn't have to do anything but because we are we have to correct that because you need a new sump pump that's a little bit more powerful than the one you have because rainstorms are gonna rain and we have had a lot of really heavy rainstorms this year so the the flooding has been noticeable i think um, our building contractor noticed it the year we moved in because there were some major storms and then since then it's been very mild here in michigan or relatively mild in Michigan and this year we have had torrential rain after torrential rain um, the ground is saturated and obviously the water is finding its way back into the basement so we knew we had a problem but we discovered this year it's actually quite a major problem so they're coming in to fix stuff so that's a ton of money we also contracted with a or we got a contractor to quote us a number of uh, jobs in the house um, and then and then we found out how much the basement repair was going to cost and said okay we can do two of the six things and we'll have to do the other six at another time but priority number one was uh, reworking the water the house water supply um, previous owner had built a wooden contraption sort of semi shelf semi mounting point for a whole house water filter and drinking water filter and quite frankly I could we, we had um, our um, what was it our um, water softener when we moved in was failing so we had to get that replaced and the guy who came in to replace it took one look at the spider work of pipes and said I have no idea what half of this does so uh, he sort of fix things around where the softener goes but outside of that he just left all of the rest there so we got we got a new contractor in he did all of that didn't really cost that much a couple of thousand dollars um, but he removed the wooden shelf mounting thing replaced all of the pipe work between the water softener and the rest of the house so it's now very tidy um, new whole house filter and a new um, drinking water filter so happy with that but that has resulted in um, the inheritance from my grandmother pretty much being used up so I don't have anything left over for a new PC However, we don't spend all that I earn. Um, we uh, got turned on to Gordon Ram, not Gordon Ramsay, Dave Ramsay, um, and Gordon Ramsay, but Dave Ramsay, uh, back in about 2012, 2013, and we've been debt free since then. So. Uh, we don't have car payments, we don't have house payments, we don't have any payments. Um, obviously we have bills which need to be uh, paid. 
and uh, that's it. So, that said, we are putting into um, our project fund a good amount of money every month. So chances are by Christmas I can either have a new PC or we could do one of the other projects. Probably going to get a new PC. The PC I have we bought in 2018. So it's it's not done badly. Six years old. It lost its SSD. Um, it wasn't a particularly good one. Um, and so I lost, at the time, I lost my Saturday playthrough of Oakfield Farm and had to rebuild the, the save file and find as many of the uh, mods that I had been using. I think a couple of mods were no longer available, so I had to work around that. And then about six months later, my wife had an identical PC, and that too, the hard drive failed. So, uh, yeah, not a good thing. But of, those, of, the, of the PCs, um, that was the only failure. And obviously, Calm, Cass, what's it, Farm Sim 19, um, Oakfield Farm... That would have been, was it Oakfield Farm I played on 19? Yeah, 19, 22. We were a good year and a half in, so it was probably two years the, um, the hard drive failed, and then two and a half years for my wife's PC, it fa hers failed. So, not a too bad of a thing, I guess. Um, but the rest of the PC, mine is still going. Hers, oh, I don't want to spray the neighbor's fields if I can help it. I think that's, yeah, it's limed. It just didn't get um, texture. So yeah, last, Beginning of, uh, beginning of summer, end of spring, my wife's PC finally packed up. So I'm kind of thinking mine might go soon, but I'm going to milk it for all it's worth. So anyway, that's... That's where I'm sitting at the moment. But next year I will need a new PC because Farm Sim 25 requires quite a steep up upgrade from what I have. Like I think I'm running a 8th generation PC, uh, i7 and you need to be running a 12 for recommended. So that's, that's a few steps up. But that's fine. Um, as I said, I'm not in any hurry, at least at the moment, because the PC I have does actually do its do what it's intended to do. However, entrance is over there, I think. Yeah, the I mean the thing is, is you might get a good a good deal on a mortgage and you might be getting paid interest on other accounts. The problem can be that um, you are guaranteed to have to pay interest. You are never guaranteed to receive um, interest. So just because and the money market account might be different but just because you've got mutual funds or whatever, if the stock market has a bad year, 
you're not getting any income from that, whereas you're still paying out on the mortgage. So technically speaking, um, paying off a thing is a guaranteed I'm not losing any money. Um, investing is not always a guaranteed I'm just going to make a lot of money. Okay, we're going to need more lime again. Oops. I should have bought 50,000. Because I think that was about 50,000 I bought today. No. Um, oh, stop there. Well, yeah, I mean, it's Farm Sim 25 will run on my PC, but I fully expect to have to pay at much lower graphic settings and possibly not be able to stream because, you know, all of the processing power that's going to be needed that um, my PC doesn't necessarily have. So it's not so much, it's a big step up. It's, it's a big step up for someone who's running a six year old PC. And even then, the PC wasn't a top of the line um, thing. Yeah, I think, I think we spent, just over two thousand dollars on each of them so good pc at the time you know i i consider eight hundred dollars is an entry level pc um, if you want a solid rig you're probably looking at spending two thousand and if you want a top end system you're probably paying four thousand three thousand 3,500, yeah, a big money. And, or to put it another way, you're probably asking your bank if you can uh, spend that much in one transaction. But um, it's, I don't think a $4,000 PC today is twice as good as a $2,000 PC today. A strong PC, what we'll, what we'll call now a strong PC, at about $2,000, is going to serve you well and it's going to be a good solid um, performer. And theoretically, in a couple of years time, if you need it, you can add more RAM, you can change the graphics card, you can swap out the processor. So it's not really that bad of a thing. I don't think my, my processor will, I think, run um, a ninth generation um, processor. And frankly, it's not worth it. Um, you know, a ninth generation isn't going to give me much more life. So... I'm just better off biting the bullet and buying a new PC, um, with which is resets the point I'm at. Um, but I mean, for now, it's as I said, this has served me six years and it's good. I could have upgraded it over the years, but quite frankly, the games I play, I didn't need to. Um, if I was playing first-person shooters, Fortnite, whatever, then in all likelihood this PC has been pretty much needing some help for two, three years now. But I'm okay, you know, I don't play those sorts of games. I play Farm Sim, sometimes I play Rail Sim, sometimes I play... World of Warships, but really the games I play are not big, um, 
big system hog things. And I did that. The very first PC I bought was a um, Pentium 486 SX33. And I bought the 33 because I knew it could be doubled to 66. And it cost me, I think it cost me £800. And if I'd wanted a DX266, everything else exactly the same, it would have cost me... I want to say about twelve hundred pounds. So I just looked at it and said, well, "No, the processor I have is actually it would have cost me two hundred. Yeah, so it would have cost me over a thousand. Um, but the processor I bought, if I'd wanted to just go into a store and buy an SX thirty three, would have cost two hundred bucks." A DX266 would have cost 500 bucks at that time. Six months later, the DX266 was 60 bucks, which was effectively the price point of the SX33. So I, upgra I immediately upgraded my PC to the one that I'd actually wanted, or the, the level of processing I'd actually wanted. And it cost me um, 60 bucks more than I paid for the PC and 200 bucks less than if I'd bought it six months prior. So I saved myself um, 200 bucks and had the PC for six months. So yeah, not a bad thing. I'm not, I'm not averse to upgrading when I need to. Obviously, when my hard drive, when my SSD failed, I bought a new one and installed it myself. And did the same on my wife's PC as well. So, time for a new base point, and then everything will be good yes um, and that much I understand we actually uh, my wife and I had an issue when we were starting out looking at look we really need to get rid of our debt at the time we were running um, everything I earned was paying off debt or living expenses um, we had no extra cash. We had about $20,000 in the bank, which uh, Mrs. Osa called an emergency fund, and it wasn't one. And the reason it wasn't one was because if we used it, we could. it was gone. It would never come back. So um, basically, if we had an emergency, we stuck it on the credit card and then paid it off over two, three, four years. So really not the best way to live life. But as I said, we had $20,000 in the bank and we had a car payment and we had a carpet payment um, and I think we had a something else payment as well. So we added all of the debts up and it came to, I think, $16,000 car and everything else so I just said look if we write a check for all of those things and pay them all off we can then um, not be spending somewhere in the region of $800 a month on debt so that $800 a month suddenly turns into money we're putting aside for emergencies or vacations or stuff like that and so it took a little persuading but Mrs. Osa is actually a math person so she could see the benefits of doing that so we paid off the car we paid off the carpet and we got 
you know, we had about five thousand, four five thousand bucks left in the bank um, as, in, as, as an emergency fund, and that has been expanded to a good size emergency fund. If we have a problem, we can fix it. We don't have car um, warranties, um, partly because in my experience, a lot of the time that a car warranty, or you, ha you have something break on the car, the car warranty people say, yeah, that's not covered. And it's like, okay, I'm paying how much for two car warranties and it seems to be a 50-50 chance that anything I have you know, go wrong with a car isn't actually covered by the warranty. So I'm just paying the warranty people for um, nothing, really. So... And I can cut, you know, so much so I can cover a car warranty situation, even if it's, okay, sell the car that's broken and buy a new one, or a used one. Um, we had, actually last year, um, I think it was my dad's mum died. And with the money, we bought ourselves a Chevy Equinox. Really, really nice little SUV. Um, but deer ran out in front of it and wrapped itself around the front of the car. Um, all the cosmetic damage got repaired because of insurance. However, over the course of the next six months, there was so so much underlying stuff that was just a problem. Um, the steering was damaged. The um, we had engine problems, and we got to the point where I'm looking at it and I'm saying, "Look, to repair this car is seven thousand um, dollars." And even then, we don't know what else is going on. There's no um, start, you know. There's there's no guarantee that we found all of the issues. I'm just willing to get rid of this, much as I like the vehicle, and so we got rid of it and bought ourselves a slightly older Honda Odyssey, which actually works out better because it has more room for the kids in the back and more room for stuff from Lowe's in the bank in the back so you know the Odyssey the Odyssey's doing fine but we're back in the situation if one of our vehicles fails I can sell it get some money for it and get a replacement for cash Yes, and, and, and definitely having the cash available, but it's they're, they're, we basically looked at it. There was probably four or five years that we didn't have the cash available. So we, yeah, we have to, we had to, um, we had to be careful for a few years and not break stuff. But on the whole, I wouldn't say we have a problem. Um, our master bathroom is a bit of a bomb site. Uh, we removed the the sort of the soaker tub uh, and replaced it with a large stand-up shower, and that was because um, Mrs. Osa's uh, health issues last year, or no, a couple of years ago, um, she couldn't climb in and out of the bath, and the the shower unit we had. 